Welcome to a lesson on algebraic equations. In this lesson, we'll define an algebraic equation, verify a solution to an equation, and also define equivalent equations. An algebraic equation is a mathematical sentence connecting one expression to another expression with an equal sign. So if we don't have an equal sign, we don't have an equation. The solution to an equation is the value or values that make the equation true. In example one, we're asked to verify that x equals negative three is a solution to the algebraic equation five x minus two equals eight x plus seven. To verify x equals negative three is a solution, we substitute negative three for x and verify the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. When performing substitution, especially with a negative number, it's important to make sure we put it in parentheses. So on the left side we have five x minus two and since five x means five times x, when we substitute negative three for x, we'd have five times negative three minus two. On the right side, we have eight x plus seven. Since eight x means eight times x, we'd have eight times negative three plus seven. And now we'll simplify both sides of the equation using the order of operations. So we multiply first, five times negative three equals negative fifteen. So we have negative fifteen minus two equals. On the right, eight times negative three equals negative twenty-four. So we have negative twenty-four plus seven. Here we have negative fifteen minus two, that's negative seventeen. On the right, we have negative twenty-four plus seven, which is also negative seventeen. So because negative seventeen does equal negative seventeen, this is a true statement, which means x equals negative three is a solution to the given equation. If this statement was false, or if the left side didn't equal the right side, x equals negative three would not be a solution. In example two, we're asked, is m equals negative one a solution to the algebraic equation m plus nine equals three m plus five? So to see if this is a solution, we'll substitute negative one for m and see if the left side is equal to the right side. If they're equal, it's a solution. If they're not equal, it's not a solution. So for m plus nine, we'd have negative one plus nine. And right now this is a question. Is this side going to equal the right side, which is three m plus five? So if m is equal to negative one, we'd have three times negative one plus five. Now we'll simplify both sides. Negative one plus nine is equal to eight. On the right, we multiply first. Three times negative one is equal to negative three. Negative three plus five is equal to positive two. So here we have eight equals positive two. And since this is not true or this is false, eight does not equal positive two. This tells us that m equals negative one is not a solution to the given equation. Example three is similar. We're asked, is a equals five a solution to the algebraic equation negative four times the quantity a plus one equals six times the quantity one minus a? So to answer this question, we'll substitute five for a here and here and see the left side is equal to the right side. So we'd have negative four times the quantity, well a plus one would be five plus one equals, and again this is a question right now, six times the quantity one minus a would be one minus five. And now we'll simplify inside the parentheses first. So on the left we have negative four times five plus one is six. On the right we have six times one minus five is equal to negative four. So on the left we have negative four times six, that's negative twenty-four. On the right we have six times negative four, which is also negative twenty-four. Since the left side is equal to the right side, the statement is true, which means a equals five is a solution to the given equation. And now let's talk about equivalent equations. Equivalent equations are two or more equations that have the same solution. So in example four, we're asked to verify that x equals negative two is a solution to the following equations. So if it is a solution to all three of these equations, these three equations would be equivalent equations. So we'll substitute two for x in all the equations. 
and see if it satisfies each equation. So for the first equation, we would have eight times two minus five equals two plus nine. And because we're verifying this, it should satisfy the equation. On the left side, we have eight times two, that's 16 minus five equals, well, two plus nine is equal to 11. And on the left side, 16 minus five does equal 11. 11 equals 11 is true, which means x equals two does satisfy this first equation. The next equation, when we substitute two, we'd have seven times two minus five equals nine. Multiplying first, we have 14 minus five equals nine. 14 minus five does equal nine. Nine equals nine is true. So x equals two is also a solution to this equation. So these first two equations are equivalent equations. And now for the last equation, seven x equals 14, we'd have seven times two equals 14. And seven times two is 14. So two also satisfies this equation because this statement is true. And because two satisfies all three equations, these three equations are called equivalent equations. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.